My guest today is Lily Lyle, uh, a definite member of the Twitterati. Lily, when, did, when and why did you take up Twitter? Well, I joined Twitter at the beginning of 2009. Um, I was always very sceptical about uh, social media and never went on Facebook or any of the other ones. But uh, it was the only way to obtain a ticket to the Twestival, which uh, a number of my friends were running. Where was that? Uh, that was held at um, Hunter's, and I've forgotten the name of the uh, establishment down by York Place. Okay. Raised a lot of money for charity. Mm. Um, at any rate, I, within an hour I was completely hooked. <laughs> um, I originally, my uh, basic circle on Twitter is made up of, of um, about 40 people who are big fans of um, a science fiction writer by the name of William Gibson. And when he moved over, he's always had a bulletin board for years and a blog. Okay, so so he moved over to Twitter and they all followed him, so we all connected there instead. All right. So that's, that's the, the core of it, though most of them are in, in North America, so you have to read them in the middle of the night. <laughs> Okay, you're um, also quite prevalent in politics. You comment quite a lot. Yeah, that sort of come uh, more recently. Um, well, I suppose with the first election after I joined Twitter, um, I was quite excited about it and was uh, retweeting a lot and um, then people started to communicate with me directly. Um, my, I have strange politics. <laughs> okay. Because you're um, green, are you? Uh, well, I've always been a green. Um, well, if you've always I'm, been a green, were you an ecologist first, then? Yes. Okay. Uh, for a long time, there was no party for me to vote for, and then along came the Greens. Um, I started to work with them uh, when I lived in Sweden uh, after the Chernobyl thing happened, okay. because I felt that I needed to do something. Um, but. One of my other political stance, also since the very beginning, has been for independence for Scotland. My, um, my family moved to Canada three generations ago and have been waiting to come back okay. for independence, and I'm the first one to make it. So we can call you an independista, if you don't mind. <laughs> That's a good one. And a member of the Twitterati. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, and thanks for coming in today. Um, I'm just wondering, what did you make of um, sitting in on trying to uh, review First Minister's questions, you know? So it was an interesting experience. I think I'd have to do it a few more times to get any good at it. Um, we try to focus on the performances, which means it's not, you don't have to be up to speed on all the issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can look at, because a lot, let's be honest, um, <clears throat> the tabloids, and that's, they're read by the majority of the people. Yeah, in a, even a, in a democracy, or especially in a democracy, so they tend to think, well, and they look, at, they feel the performances for before they realise what the you know the, the policy is about. Well, that, that's one of the reasons I get most of my news off of Twitter is I find it's actually the bare bones of the news. So uh, I I like that because then I'm not moved or affected by how good they are as actors. But it also comes so quickly and so broadly, I find, that uh, it's un uncensored. It's, it's, mm -hmm. If it is subjective, well, it's an awful lot of subjectives. So it all adds up to fact. Yes. And it's, as I was saying, it comes straight from the source. It's, I find that very refreshing. Indeed, indeed. And I think the SNP, and, uh, both the SNP and the Greens have been absolutely superb about adapting to Twitter as a new medium. Um, I follow um, the various Green politicians and also most of the cabinet. And some of them follow me back, which surprises me greatly. <laughs> uh, and uh, it, it's very good because um, you get a sense of them as actual individual people, the personalities behind the politician, mm -hmm. and you can um, occasionally get them to answer a direct question. That's true. Um, well, thank you very much, Lily. Perhaps we could uh, revisit this in the future. I'd be glad to. Thank you very much. <laughs>